What's going on, mask lovers? Tonight, I'm shooting a quick video of three masks that I got from Trick or Treat Studios. They're all reissues of old Don Post Studio masks. All these were available for a long, long time and were all over the place when I was a kid. And I'm really happy about getting new copies of them. The first is the old vampire. I think he's supposed to be uh, Barnabas Collins from Dark Shadows in a scene when he turned into like an old man or something. But I'm not 100% sure on that because I don't really know that show very well. But this is like a really iconic character. This was guy was in like every Don Post, uh, you know, ad and stuff when I was a kid. I'd find like catalogs from Spencer's and whatever and I'd see him at the the magic shop at Disneyland and places like that and costume shops and stuff when I was a kid and it's a really really famous mask but the only bad thing is the tops kind of mutilated on them like all the copies are like that I ordered two different copies from trick-or-treat studios and believe it or not this is the better of the two so but I got them for 20 bucks with no shipping. So that's a good deal for like, you know, a Down Post Studios mask if you bought one of the, you know, like the one from 1979 or something. It probably cost $300 on the internet or eBay or whatever. So but that's a pretty good deal. I really, really like him. He looks exactly like the, you know, like the old magazines and stuff. I'm trying to put together like a, a shelf of uh, the original Don Post mass. Next we have uh, Sewage. He's not as thick as the other mass, but the original one wasn't. He came out in like 1990. Supposedly he's based on the Crypt Keeper. He just has these two little wisps of hair on the top. And this guy over here is a jukebox. It's a really, really famous uh, Don Post Studios mask that was available for years, and they reissued him a bunch of times in a bunch of different color schemes. I believe he appears on a poster for, I think the movie's called Titan Find or Titan Fiend or Titan something. I think Klaus Kinski might have been in it probably should have done a little research before I shot this video but I think he's pretty cool I already had the one of the back from the grave ones but this one's like kind of mutilated I have them on a styrofoam head wrapped in in grocery bags and then there's like 50 more grocery bags shoved in it to make him hold his shape and every time I take the grocery bags out like his head like immediately collapses in on itself again so I was happy to get this one pretty cheap but it still has like a pretty big crease in the top but you know he's less screwed up than uh, the other one that I got for like 16 bucks off of Amazon or someplace and his teeth aren't all I can't get his teeth to go flat they're supposed to be flat like this one and they're all like sticking out snaggle tooth style and this one and his nose is kind of crooked and I don't know I kind of like this color scheme better the tan one but whatever you know he's still pretty cool he's only 16 bucks but this mask is like exactly the same as that one except for the color scheme and I believe this is closer to the original color scheme like so that's pretty cool. I think there was a, a version that glowed in the dark and there was one that was covered in blood that was slightly had a slightly different sculpt I think. But all three of these are pretty good you know if you want to deal with the wrinkle issues you know. Like almost every... I'm not sure what the deal is with the people that have the Don Post masks now, the Paper Magic Group or whoever they are like Every time you order a mask from them, it's just like like they 
take a ruler or something and like fold them in half and there's giant creases in the top so I was hoping the ones that you got from you know that you buy from trick-or-treat studios wouldn't be like that but but they are so but I got them dirt cheap and I really really wanted these characters so I'm fine with it I'm hoping I can try to get some more bags inside of the old vampire's head but uh, if you put them in like before you put the styrofoam head in there like the styrofoam head won't fit in and I can't really exactly reach maybe I'll take a wooden spoon like when it's already on there and like try to shove them up in there or something this mask is like super tiny you'd have to be like a total pinhead to be able to fit into it I'm guessing it's based on the mold of the original one I heard that there's two molds of this that like the first version they put out like was really small so they made like another version of the mask that was slightly bigger so I'm guessing this is this the original small one because it like barely will fit on a, a styrofoam head and like even small masks like fit good on styrofoam heads and I know about not using you know styrofoam heads but I do anyways and I, I just wrap them in a bunch of uh, plastic bags and hope for the best so and I already tried you know the the hair dryer thing and the bags and like all that stuff that you can find online and it still won't get the wrinkles out of these things so if anyone has some brilliant suggestions that I haven't heard of I'm willing to listen but these are very cool masks for the cheap price that I paid for them I've seen lots of masks that were like twenty dollars that are nowhere near as cool as these and like I said they they look exactly like the the original ones pretty much the paint works probably not quite as good but but the ones that are thick are still thick like the sewage guy he's a little on the thin side like the original one that they started making like in the 90s and 2000s but uh, jukebox and the old vampire are still thick like the old ones and like really sturdy mess so I'm gonna go ahead and recommend all these guys even though they have some minor drawbacks if you're a fan of old-school Don Post mask you should go ahead and try to find these while supplies last I think there's only like one copy of uh, the trick-or-treat studios version of jukebox left but you could probably find one on eBay or uh, I've seen them on Amazon before and the old vampire and sewage I think are still pretty widely available if you're not really into Don Post Studios masks these masks probably wouldn't appeal that much to you, you kinda have to be like a you know around uh, your late 30s or 40s to at least to uh, think these are cool like they definitely don't compare to like you buy like some really badass uh, death studios or dark side studios mask or something but these are really cool nostalgic masks and I'm really glad to have them so I'll be back at you guys soon with some more spooky vids